Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy V, I'm Sir Cooper Nut, and in the last episode we got an airship, woohoo! And in this episode we're going to be going and looking for the Earth Crystal. So let's head back over to the Ruins of Gorm, where we lost old King Tycoon, because he dropped us down a pit. And that's not what it is, it's up here. There it is. What's going on? Look! The town! And the town can't get much worse, it's already... Whoa. <laughs> When was there a desert there? I guess they're trying to signify dirt and stuff rising from the dirt. <laughs> a whole, like, citadel just rose from the sand and the town's completely destroyed. Jeez. We better head back to Sid. He'll know what to do. Uh, I could find him. I can never find anywhere with this map. It's too confusing. There he is. Okay. Let's go back into our... Secret base. Sid, Mid, we've got an issue here. Save your breath, because we saw the ruins through the telescope. What telescope? This is bad. The Earth Crystal is way up there. The ancient Ronkins amplified the Earth Crystal to make their town float. It's kind of weird that, they, that, that, peop, that the Earth Crystal would make things float. I mean, I guess it's gravity and everything, what, well, you know, the Earth, but that's still weird. But once they realised amplifying the crystal could make it shallow, they stopped the machine. Shake a leg, Miss Grint, someone's turned the machine back on. It couldn't. You don't think that father. Never, he would never do such a thing. How are we supposed to get that high? Don't worry, we have more books. With this, adamantite. If we, if we reinforce the ship with it, it'll fly higher, but we'll need to find some more. That's simple enough. The meteorite I came here in. It, I remember seeing some adamantite reserves inside. Are you sure? You call me a liar? Of course not, it's just that your memory is still kind of spotty, right? Pish posh, the adamantite part is clearly it's clear as day. It's good It's good a place as any to start. Let's go check it out. Okie dokie. We'll stay here and get things prepared. You guys hurry and bring us some adamantite. Okay, that works with us. But first, let's just go make sure that Lena's um, ability is that, is learning, and his is control. Because we now will have access to the firepower chip again, which means we can learn another blue magic spell in here that we couldn't learn before. So I'll just um, meet you guys when I eventually run into the enemy we're looking for. So be right back. Okay, here's the enemy we were looking for. Defeater, just gotta kill it quickly. And there's what we were looking for. Now we need to control one of these motor traps. Oops, I meant to haste him there. Shit. <laughs> uh, let's keep trying to control. Don't paralyze people. Critical attack for 26 damage, that's weak. Why would I have white magic when I have red magic? Oh my god, I'm equipped like a noob. <sighs> Gotta hope that Bart actually manages it for once. Uh, I'm gonna take one of the defeaters out quickly. Let's get rid of that one. Control. Yay, the enemy's under control. Okay, let's just get back round to Bart's turn. Now we want to use the missile spell on Lena. Wait for it to it. Now, this spell is actually kind of useful if you didn't manage to get Death Claw. What it does is it basically reduces your mat your HP to one fourth of what it is. So yeah, it's like a level quarter spell. Just reduces your HP. It's like a demi spell. It's pretty good. It's not really any use if you have Death Claw, but if you don't, it's good. It, that's, it's actually pretty accurate. So yeah, pretty nice. Yeah, we can change. Lena's ability back to summoning now. We've got the frost rod and another elven mantle. Let's go. Could do with healing up quickly, so let's just quickly run over here and do that. In our secret base. I'm really glad we got a secret base now, it's pretty awesome. And now it's up here, isn't it? Even though we have a secret base, I have no idea where any of this stuff is. Let's rest up a bit. These ancient Ronkins are pretty cool. 
left us a secret base and everything. Where's Sid? Are they in the library over there? Yeah. <laughs> Go see what they say. So many books, so little time. There's actually not that many books here, seriously. Great goggly moggly, what a discovery. They must be like in like heaven with all these books around. Open the door. Why do I keep having to hit that switch? That's really annoying. Right, let's go find that adamantite. Now, if we remember, Gallif came through a meteor that was um, from near Tycoon. So we've just got to head over to Tycoon now. With our awesome ship, which looks like a falcon from Final Fantasy IV. <laughs> um, Tycoon. I cannot remember. Oh, it's just up here, isn't it? There's the Tycoon Meteor. Let's just try and land. There we go. Oh, this is where it all began. We're going back here. It's pretty cool. Hmm, it was around here. I'm sure of it. Of course, the Meteor has a secret door. There, inside there. <sighs> How is that even possible? There it is. How about that? Pretty sharp memory, huh? How would an amnesiac like you know? Haha, <laughs> well, are you mocking me? Yeah. <laughs> Obtain adamantite. Oh, of course. You knew it couldn't be that simple. There's someone in here with us. Watch out. Here we have a boss against the adamantoys. It attacks pretty hard, but it's pretty harmless. Doesn't do much damage physically, though. Not at all. Um, let's just get a cure on me. I really should have changed my thingy back to time magic. Dang it. Uh, I would use Shiva, but he's weak to ice. He's also a multiple level 5, so if you have level 5 death, you can just one-shot him about that. Totally forgot when I came into the battle. Again, I'm done making a lot of mistakes today. This boss isn't at all hard at all, though, so you really don't have to worry. In fact, he can help with this. You've got Blizzard, haven't you? Yay, we can get double the damage gun. Okay, this kind of makes up for you not being the Time Mage. Let's see how much Shiva does. Diamond Dust. That must be, we've summoned Shiva like so many times. I think this thing has 2,000 HP, it's really quite weak. But if you haven't come with any Black Mages, you're going to be here for a long time. Or a Blue Mage. Blizzara. There we go. Five ability points. And a Turtle Shell, nice. Let's just get out of here. Okay, let's just head back to our airship. Uh, about the fire powered ship, you can go through it all again if you really want to. You can't get to the crystal room, of course. Well, I doubt you can. You shouldn't be able to. So if you missed any treasure, you can just re-get it if you missed any, which is actually kind of good. There was the thief glove in there, which is really good. So if you haven't got the thief glove, go get it. Yeah, let's go give this stuff to them. How do they always know that we're coming? Well, I guess it, we'd make a lot of noise. Great, you got the adamant type. Quick, give it here so we can install it. Bart, you guys take a break. Alright. At least we get fully healed. <laughs> oh, I love this bit. Look at him. It's like tripping out. It's like an acid trip. <laughs> Hyper speed. So many of them. I like the tempo increase in there. It's great. What the? What's happening here? Oh, weird. I dreamt that the airship was already finished. Rise and shine, it's done. Whoa! Yikes, you work fast. After you lift off, press the A button to fly higher. Yay. So with this, we can go to the floating ru ruins. Technically, yes, but well, take a gander at this. More books! The floating city is equipped with a heavy defense system. If you don't disable it, you won't be able to enter. According to this book, the cannons are really powerful. 
This book's actually correct. The cannons are very powerful. If you have the right strategy to defeat them, you are going to die. But we must go. No question about it. I don't even see the worry. What's a couple of overblown pop guns against the likes of us? Yeah. Sid, Min, thanks for all your help. Now let's get to the crystal before it's too late. Onwards to victory. Yo ho ho and stuff, time to cast off. Okay, and with that guys, we now have a really cool thing. If we press A here, it'll come up with an arrow. We can decide what we want to do. But for now, we're going to end things off this episode. But first, I just want to tell you guys what you need to do. You need to follow me all the way over here. This bit here, you'll be able to encounter green tortoises really easily. Now, I've already done this off screen. And make sure you run away from another 10, 20 random battles while you're here. Don't take your characters past level 18 because there's a level, a multiple of level, well, a multiple of two. You need your characters close to a multiple of two for a new blue magic spell coming up soon. So farm as many turtle shells, they're 100% drops from a turtle. Get as many as you possibly can to your characters are level multiple of two. Let me just see how many I've got. Um, turtle shell, there we go, we've got 18. I'd like to have a lot more than that, but yeah, unfortunately we don't. And yeah, so just do that, get your characters up to a multiple of two, and in the next episode guys, we're going to be heading off to save the Earth Crystals. So see you guys then on Let's Play Final Fantasy V. Thanks for watching, bye bye. Thank you.